So we're here at the E Inc. So who are you? I'm Giovanni Mancini. I'm the head of global marketing for E Inc. And uh, I'd like to give you a little tour of our booth and the different products that our customers have developed using our E Inc. technology. So here we are seeing a couple of uh, cool devices here. Right. Let's let's start off with uh, the uh, Yoda phone. This Yoda phone was. Uh, um, started production in December. What's cool about this product is that it has an always-on display. This is an e-ink uh, e screen in the back. And the idea here is that you have information sources that are important to you that you're trying to keep track of. So normal LCD here. So it's a normal, right, it's a normal LCD in the front. So and this is some interaction between the two. So this is running standard Android. And yeah. when you want to uh, follow, uh, yeah. Track some information. You attach that to the back. But what's great about this integration is that it also has an Android mirror mode, so that I can actually attach the an the Android function to the e Ink display. What's great about this is if I launch the Kindle app, yeah. I can actually get into my Kindle library yeah. and uh, read my Kindle books. I just gotta. So it's a touch, curve, flexible touch, ink, back. Touch, touch, curve, this uses our ink Mobius display. Um, it's a 4.7 inch uh, curved display. And it looks awesome uh, right here in this lighting or under uh, the sun, outdoors. It'll look, it'll look great under any lighting. So. Nice. This is this is beautiful e ink display. So right. this is in mass production now. This is in mass production now. You can actually go to the Yoda Devices website and order one. It's also available uh, throughout uh, Europe and other different markets. I think it's even Putin's official phone, right? Well, I don't think it's Putin's official phone, but um, he gave one to China. He gave one to the uh, the president of China when he visited China. And it's the most popular video on my channel right now. Last couple of months, lots of lots of Russians and every every kinds of people checking it out. Yeah. Charbax, you would know you would know best about that. Walking through, I'd like to show you some other products that we have here on Inc. Booth. So uh, we, here we have uh, Rashik from our bus uh, digital signage business unit. He'll talk to you about uh, yeah. our 32-inch display. Sure. So uh, these are our large area displays. Yeah, 32 inches in size. So these are really designed with the digital signage market in mind. So E-Ink has focused, is now focusing on uh, diversifying its business. And we think that signage and digital signage is one of the key areas because of uh, the unique properties of E-Ink and the value that it provides to the digital signage market. So this is an example of a black and white 32 inch display. It has a quad HD resolution. And what do you say? Quad, quad HD? Quad HD resolution. That's uh, that's like uh, this 20, resolution right here. 2560 by 1440. All right. Okay. So we have. What it can it be used for? Uh, there are multiple applications if you think about it. So, oftentimes you go to a train station or a bus stop. What uh, you see a lot of information that's provided to you. Uh, it's sometimes it's digital, sometimes it's static. So the idea is to take the static signs and digitize them. And because e ink is so low power, and this can, this can be like the, the the train station right here example. Think about exactly. So this is our, our famous station in Boston, the South Station. So you can get information about when trains are arriving. You could have like maps which tell you where you have to go, when your next train is arriving. And it doesn't just have to be in train stations, but it could also be on buses, at bus stops, inside a bus. So this is 32 inch, black and white, 32 inch color? Yes, so this is in color. And this is also the same resolution? It's the same resolution as the black and white. And uh, we have it in full color. So, uh, full benefit, color? Right, so the benefit of providing full color is that often you need to highlight certain information when, uh, for example, there's a red line, there's a blue line in trains, so you can highlight that. And the other unique thing that e Yang brings is it allows you to put signage where it was previously not possible. Because it is so low power, it can be powered off of a battery or it could be solar powered. So you don't need to bring in a lot of power infrastructure uh, in order to power our signs. And extremely well visible in sunny areas. Absolutely. So these can be deployed. Sunny bus stops. Exactly. It can be deployed indoors as well as outdoors. It can be uh, uh, 
waterproof? It can be. So uh, we've partnered with uh, various companies. Uh, GDS, which is an Italian company, is one of our partners in signage. And breakproof, maybe. Exactly. That, so this, the way that this system is actually designed, it's IP65 rated, so it's waterproof and dustproof. And also, this is a rugged glass on the front. Rugged. If people throw something on it, it might not break. It, it will not. not break. It will not break. It will not break. If and you can make bigger ones? So this is just the beginning of where we are. So we are, we are launching uh, with the 32 inch. Uh, I mean, the technology certainly supports going to bigger sizes as well. So this is a real product? It's a real product. People uh, can buy it now. So uh, we are uh, distributing samples. Uh, customers who are interested, they can work with us and we can arrange for samples of, of this product. All right, but they're not like uh, retail pricing yet or something? No, we haven't around retail pricing yet. All right, and does it run Android or...? Uh, so this is just like a display. So in the back end, you can run any operating system HDMI? you want. It could be HDMI, it could be serial, over USB, over Ethernet. Uh, it could be powered by Android, by Windows. So really, it's just a system. It's just a window to your content. And how you're sending the content to it is really up to you. So we'll see e-ink everywhere soon. I'm sorry? We'll see e-ink everywhere yes, soon. Yes, yes, that's the expectation. And you we'll see a lot of signs. Let's go around this side because this Thank one is... Thank you very much, Rashik. So moving on, along with that, uh, this is another area that where e-ink has been uh, yeah. very big and had a lot of growth in, uh, in the industry. Uh, what you see behind me is electronic shelf tags that are used for pricing information on store shelves. This is a system that is deployed by our partner called uh, Display Data. Um, they provide electronic shelf tags for brick and mortar stores. And it gives you kind of a, a unichannel, um, an omnichannel a solution to, to pricing. Um, so with a pair of lithium cells, these, uh, these shelf tags will last about uh, two to five years. And you have the small one, the, the bigger so one? We have also have a version where you can actually have, use with EX Spectra, so you can actually have red in there as well. This is a smaller version. And, and it's a very bright red. It's a very bright red because using our Spectra technology, it actually has ink pigment in the micro cups. So that is actually red pigment as opposed to... So the consumer can easily see where the deals are with the red color. Easily see whether the deals are with the red color. They can also see the easily see the pricing with our larger 4-inch displays and there's also a 6-inch display that they can use um, within the within the store, uh, the merchant, store the merchandising So when did you launch these? Um, these uh, Spectra was launched in uh, uh, SID 2013, and the, uh, these tags, we've been shipping them. We shipped about 10 million of them in uh, 2013. We shipped about over 20 million in 2014, and expect to see a significant growth in 2015 as well. So you just launched recently, there's already 30 million of them out there. Well, in the past few years, yes. That's crazy. That's a, that's a big quantity. There's, that means they're in supermarkets. They are somewhere. They are in, they're in supermarkets. They're in retail stores. They're in many places throughout Europe, Asia, and the U.S. as well. How long is the battery life on one of these? On using standard uh, standard usage, you probably expect about two to five years in a pair of lithium cells. To change the price how often? Basically, probably change it about once a day. You could change once a day. If you change it less, it'll last for five years or something. It'll last longer. All right. And the big ones similar? Uh, the big ones similar. We have just have larger lithium cells in here, or you know, basically e-ink only uses power to change the actual pigment that is uh, that is changing at that. So your time. partners that are selling these, is there a public re retail price for some of those? Well, or people have to buy them in bulk for the whole store. They should contact our partners, either Display Data or the other partners that we deal with in the ESL market for pricing on the products. It's cheaper than going around and changing the prices. And, and it's cheaper than going around and changing the prices, but more important, it actually makes you more competitive against the e-commerce website because now you can have more agile merchandising strategies. You can respond to the pricing changes of your competition so that you know, you do, you're not stuck with a price for a few weeks while your competition is changing their prices on a daily basis. And it, it refreshes the prices through what kind of radio? In this case, it's actually using Zigbee, but other networking technologies can be used as well. So Zigbee is for the whole store, kind of, nearly? Well, it's Zigbee to these to these So that's so yes, it's kind it's of far away, it's 100 meters or something. Well, it could, it could cover the entire store. It basically depends on So you push a button, you can update everything? You push a button, you can update everything. That's uh, that's really cool, and yes. uh, hopefully it's not going to update the price based on on who's walking in the store. Well, and I would get we will cheaper leave, prices than some other guy. We will leave merchandising if up, they want, up they to could the actual that. retailers <laughs> themselves. All right. So what kind yeah. of other stuff are you showing? So moving along over here, 
Um, this is what we have is our uh, concept products area. There's a number of concept products that we're showcasing here from, from uh, uh, some of our customers. This is a system called Vicora from a company called Powercast. What Vicora is is a series of uh, displays that allow you to attach it to smartphones and, and then from wherever you are in the world update or send messages to, uh, to these displays. So here's a case where it's been attached to the backpack of, of a child and using a smartphone you can send messages to your child and there is the same number picking you up at five, don't forget to bring home your homework. How does it so, connect so, to the web? So it actually connects to the web by basically pairing to the smartphone that you have through, um, through Bluetooth. So this way, you know, the child is not required to actually look at the phone. You can update it. More importantly, you can also attach portraits to, to uh, in the home. So, for example, you can give this to the grandparents and at random times send new images of their grandchildren so they can walk, walk it. Walk. It looks nice. It looks like a it looks like a great black and white picture right now. But that's because there's an effect or something. Well, How's the resolution here? You know, the resolution is is, uh, is very good. Basically, the uh, high resolution of our for a product. You know, the fact that it's black uh, black and white has to do with the lighting conditions. It's like it has, uh, it's like print. It is exactly like print. That's what e-paper is known for. Dynamic printing. It's dynamic printing. So you, every day you have a new picture on the. Uh, Every day or every hour, depending on how often. But this is just prototype, it's not kind of like shipping yet. So this is, a, uh, it's actually on Kickstarter right now. So you can go to Kickstarter and uh, uh, look for Vicora and to subscribe to that. Let's go check it out. Let's, let's, Let's put the out. link below the video. There we What's go. What's going here? Uh, this is another product by a company called Vision Act out of uh, Slovenia. It's called Joan. It's a conferencing room system that's tied into Microsoft Outlook or uh, Google yeah. Calendar. So what this basically allows you to do is take these displays, attach them outside your conference yeah. room wall, and see you know what is the conference room booked, who is it booked by, who is it booked by. Uh, what's great about this is because it's using a unique display, it can be battery powered, so you can simply attach these to the wall. You don't actually have to run power into the wall. So it's touch, full touch, um, calendar, and okay. basically I don't want to go to a uh, time to meet, and then I say I don't want to go to this one, so I. Stuff like that. Exactly. Is this uh, real? This is real. You can actually go to the Vision Act website and, and order it right now. Nice. It's a nice clock. So, um, also showcasing some of our technology. Yeah. This is a company called Kinbell. They make clocks. They're out of Taiwan, yeah. where they've built uh, you know clocks that you put on the wall. And as you can see here, you actually have a circular e-ink display. Something that you can't you can't do with other technologies. But it's it's really uh, beautiful. But it's just showing the the time like this. That's it. It's an analog clock. It's not you know it, they want a very you know simple elegant clock, and our technology is, per, is perfect. Every for minute that as it well. moves. I just saw it move right here. Well, every minute, or in this case, it's actually going, going oh. a bit faster just to showcase the fact that that it moves. But yes, it's just an analog clock. Is this clock. real or is, not yet? That is real. You can buy it too. Well, you can call contact uh, Kindle. All right. With that. And uh, this is the core of your market, right? This, this is this. You've sold tens of or hundreds of millions of those. Uh, we've sold uh, tens of millions of these. Uh, these are displays for e-readers. This is the latest Kindle. Uh, the Voyage. The Shine, is it the Voyage? Um, this is the, the Kindle Voyage. So that's the that's the best e-reader ever. It's it looks pretty cool. So let's let's check some crazy yeah. new stuff that you so, have around here. And. Um, in terms of the big announcement for CES is our e-ink prism product. Okay. Um, e-ink prism is e-ink moving into a completely new product uh, type of product line, a completely new market. And here with e-ink prism, I'll, I'll introduce you to Joe. We'll talk to you about uh, prism. Hi. So e-ink prism is our new product, and it is designed for architecture. The product can be. Uh, laminated or, or integrated with just about any product available out there in the architecture market. We're working with designers, architects, and, and uh, fabricators to create new experiences for people in public spaces. Similar to like um, hotels, lo hotel lobbies, uh, probably I would say the airports. outdoors of uh, buildings? Not the outdoor, outside? At, at this point not outdoors. So. We'll start this one over. So we have hotel lobbies, transportation centers like airport terminals, uh, corporate lobbies, um, public spaces like hospitals, 
in areas like that where you can have a very interesting uh, piece of architecture that would be create a uh, different experience for Where people. does it have to be indoors? Is it not waterproof or what is it? We have, we, uh, because we have just launched it, we have not uh, done enough testing to prove out that it could be outdoors. So uh, this is one of them? This is one of them here, yes. Can you carry it around? Can you show? I sure can. So uh, what's going on here? So <clears throat> this is a concept design that we created just for this show. In here what we did is we laminated a acrylic or a polyurethane yeah. tile and we sandwiched the film between yeah. we sandwiched the film between a printed circuit board and the top plane and we align the printed circuit board with the top plane to create a very interesting uh, dynamic so when you put it into a tiled wall you can create a number of different uh, experiences on the wall. So it's using e ink uh, pearls? Yes. All over the place? Yes. But they have two switch, on off, so what does it work? Yes, yeah, so it's working exactly the same as traditional e-ink products, but instead of what most people understand e-ink as with a display, what we're doing it is segmented, so each one of these segments is its own, uh, as you could call it, a pixel. So that you, means you can have a bright, far away view, or how, what, does it, what does it do to have it segmented <coughs> like that? Well, what we can do with the segmentation is you can create, create different interests. So here you have polygons, but there's nothing stopping you from designing with squares, circles, stripes, lines, dashes, however you want to do it. You can even do company logos. How can you get it done? You contact E-Ink? Contact E-Ink and we'll work and you, with the designer send, and the architect. you start talking about the design, you have designers, you have helpers we, that we, can get it done? Yes, we are working with designers and architects that can help the end customer bring this to their market. Which colors? Today, for this for this show, we designed it with uh, two colors, obviously here red and white, uh, but it's all on the pigment, and there's nothing stopping you from designing it with other colors. But we're so working on that. So, which colors can it be? Blue, black, anything? Well, because it is with pigments, it's limited by the pigments that you choose. All right. So you choose some. So you just color all the pigments, whatever you want. Well, that works. Not not exactly. Not exactly. Um, we, we've chosen red and white pigments here, and if we were to use uh, another pigment, we'd have to choose a different pigment. And uh, it can blink constantly for how long? <clears throat> well, this this is designed. This is this is wired into the wall, and this is the program that we chose so that it'll blink or it'll change or switch. It doesn't use so much power. It does not use power. In fact, if you look and you pan down to this table here, this is run on a double A on double A batteries. So there's double A batteries in there. Yes. And this is a yeah. table that's part this, of your... This is a table that's been laminated into glass. So what is happening here? So this is changing, as you can see, it's, it's changing the color. Uh, just random, you know, very organic patterns. Uh, random patterns. This is a crazy cool table. How long does it last on the batteries? The battery will last... I'm, actually, I'm not sure how long the battery has lasted. I, the first time you do an e-ink table, no? This is our first eating table. So what's the other possibilities? You can do tables, walls, ceiling panels, you could do doors, pretty much a, a, a lot of designs and architecture and many that we haven't even thought of yet. We're talking about square many kilometers. We're talking about lots of ink. Yes, yes. We're talking about very large installations like hotel lobbies, airport terminals, large public spaces so we can basically include this in a number of different areas so it's e ink in a completely different market and you spoke with many architects of the show we have many we've had a lot of many a lot of interest we've actually had a lot of interest from architects and designers at this show yes so we're talking this the digital signage is a lot of big so, e ink for the future a lot of big e future from basically a secondary display on mobile devices like the Yoda phone to a very large installation of e-ink prism in public spaces. E-ink is diversifying into many different markets and many different products. So how can you manufacture so much surface in e-ink? Where are you making it? So remember, we, make, uh, we, we actually make electronic ink in Western Massachusetts. We actually manufacture it by the rolls that are kilometers long. So we can basically cut it to any shape or size that, uh, that we need to. That's why we can apply e-ink to many different markets and in many different products. And you've been growing the capacity constantly? We have a lot of capacity, yes we do. And so you are ready to cover Las Vegas, so any, any, everybody? We're ready to cover Las Vegas, yes we are. All right.